John report. I'm John, here's my report. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> the Seattle School District finally passed its construction levy Tuesday on its fifth attempt. A school district spokesperson said that in some Seattle schools, passing on the fifth attempt is actually considered pretty good. <laughs> well, King Harold V and Queen Sonia of Norway will visit Seattle next fall. They will be honored with a parade through Ballard in the back of a 63 Valiant. <laughs> Cairo TV has canceled Narissa at 9 due to low ratings. The station hopes to do better with their new replacement show, Hey CBS, Eat Me. <laughs> <clears throat> Since overweight death row inmate Mitchell Roop has fought hanging because his head might pop off, a bill has been introduced that would change the method of execution to lethal injection. The 400-pound Roop says he'll still appeal, pointing out that injecting anything else into his body could also make his head pop off. <laughs> In the city of Kent, a young bald eagle perched on a light post and caused a traffic jam as drivers stopped to look. In Seattle's Capitol Hill District, a young bald man perched on a light post for three days and went virtually unnoticed. <laughs> The Mature Traveler newsletter letter lists Seattle among its top five favorite cities to visit. One of the favorite destinations of the Immature Traveler newsletter is Hump Tulips. <laughs> U.S. Representative Jack Metcalf of Langley hired inmates at Monroe State Prison to call voters last fall and talk about the candidates' views. According to some of the voters who were called, Metcalf's views include, I was framed, why can't they give us real food? And I'll bet you look really pretty naked. <laughs> Seattle is one of the nation's top three destinations for runaways. Experts explain this popularity by pointing out that most of the runaways have a pretty good chance of drumming for Pearl Jam. <laughs> Finally, KSTW announced this week that it has hired Monica Gale of the CBS Morning News to co-anchor its local news with Don Porter. Inya Hammond will be moving to the weekend news and weatherman Larry Schick will be replaced by a sock puppet named Stinky. <laughs> this has been the John Report. Thank you. And we'll be right back.